Welcome to Long Lost Brothers, a podcast devoted to talking shit and self-improvement. That's right. My name is Brett Scott. And I'm Jesse Cole. And we are the Long Lost Brothers. Jesse mm-hmm. Cole. What up? What's happening, man? Man, um, so, you know what's happening. We got the special event. We got a special invited guest on today. The first ever highly anticipated, the agnatomist, the, uh, sorry, I'm running out of descriptive words. The question having, the Riddler of the the (laughs) long lost brothers, our long lost cousin, Kurt Schmidt in the house. Sorry, excuse me. You're there, Kurt. What's up, Hey, Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Good to have you so, on. Nice to be here. Nice to meet you, yeah. Jesse. As well. Yeah, man. This is, so this is crazy. We've been talking about this for a while. Um, you know, it all started with Kurt's Got Questions. I Actually, it probably started with me just bringing Kurt up all the time and how he always has commentary on the episodes. I'm always telling Jesse, like, oh, yeah, Kurt said this. And Kurt said that. And then eventually it was like Jesse sending messages to Kurt through me. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll tell him this, tell him that. And then and then I think eventually it just became the Kurt's Got Questions segment. And yeah. here we are. Here we are with Kurt now, in the flesh. And now we have a group chat, too. Yes. Yes. You get went like super fan to fucking on the team. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would say so, super not, fan, but he does have a Marvel Plus shirt. So. Hey, it's not hard to do yeah. when like the 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 fan base is the size of a baseball team. It's like we could have a round to... table episode with just our fans if they want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easily. We'd all fit on the street nice. <laughs> So, <laughs> Kurt's like now, actual way less special right now. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be, um, this is going to end up being just a ridiculous Mad Libs episode where we talk about whatever. Because honestly, like me, Jesse, Kurt, none of us, like, we're not all watching the same things. We're not all doing the same things. Uh, you guys obviously. are not watching gay porn, and I just can't get my eyes off it. <laughs> yeah. that I mean, j- just for starters. On top of that, Kurt doesn't watch any of the shows that you and I watch that we, we talk about regularly on the show. Mm. So, you know, I'm not really sure why we brought him on. I, I don't know <laughs> what the hell we're doing here. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> Kurt always has fantastic questions, and we thought it would be awesome to do, like, a live, in-person Kurt's got questions. Neither of us know the questions, and he can just spring them on us right here in person. Um, also, we're going to invite Kurt to answer the questions as well. So I think I have a feeling that's going to take up most of the episode because when it's just two of us, it takes up like a third of the episode. So I figure with three, we got at least two thirds in the bag. I think so too. So, okay. Kurt, before we get into that kind of shit, like, Tell us a little bit about Kurt Schmidt. Like, what kind of stuff are you into? Uh, you know, why do you listen to this ridiculous baseball team size listenership podcast? Why are you here? Uh, that's a good question. I I don't have an answer <laughs> for that. Um, I started listening uh, because of uh, well, because of yourself. Uh, I got on with the the Marvel Plus. And I heard Jesse early on, and you 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 push this on to all of your listeners. So I felt like I, I had no choice but to to at least check out an episode or two. Yeah. Um, and I remember the first couple that I listened to. I remember uh, listening to them while I was working last year or last year, two years ago. I don't know what it was. Maybe a couple years ago now. Um, and I remember uh, ta- you guys talking about, yeah, it had to be two years. Sorry, tangent. Um, uh, talking about some movies and TV shows that you guys were watching. And uh, and it just seemed a little, uh, it, it was interesting because it, was, it wasn't, your talk wasn't geared around one specific thing. Um, I used to l- listen to a lot of sports talk radio. 
but then it was all just you, you'd either get all uh, for me. I'm in Chicago. You'd either get like all beer. It's almost always bears talk. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is, <laughs> but like you, you get some of the good stuff, like uh, like some pop culture stuff sprinkled in. But with you guys, it was um, it was like a little bit of everything. You get some you get some TV, some movies, some some sports that I'm not. Uh, this is where I, I'm not into the where we don't share the same stuff, but I'm not into the mixed martial arts stuff at all. But it's it's I get enough of that from you guys that if I happen to be around the neighbors or somebody else that I could just say, like, fuck that guy. He's a bum or whatever. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's nice. It's it's like the the Brett and uh, Jesse variety hour. Yeah. We should yeah, name it. <laughs> okay okay well i'm i'm glad that we we are we have grown an expanse of the things we talk about since uh our inception because initially it was like a self-improvement podcast then we found out that we don't know that much about self-improvement about seven <laughs> seven episodes in it was like let's just freestyle about some shit man i don't know <laughs> yeah we, <laughs> like, realized, we realized quickly that we were not an authority on self-improvement um, and we with, have with, valid episodes that are like sure. geared towards towards help helpful things for people with like depression and things like that, you know. But there's only so many of those you can do. Yeah, I, I think our knowledge base like ran out after those seven episodes. It was like, well, I mean, that's that's all my tips and tricks. I, I got. <laughs> yep, yep. I don't know. For, Let's <laughs> move on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Further episodes, BetterHelp.com. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Kurt, just to just to mix things up a little bit here, what kind of like what kind of shows are you into? What do you watch, man? What what movies have you watched recently? What kind of pop culture stuff are you into right now, if anything? The uh, just last night, the the last thing I watched was Mandalorian. I'm in the middle of maybe season. It's season three. I'm maybe in the middle of it. Nice. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit behind on that. Me and uh, me and my wife Jeanette, we just finished watching uh, The Last of Us. Is that the name of it? Okay, yeah. I mix. I I, I have a hard yeah. time with that name. But yeah, uh, yeah. We watched that is, Yeah, I I watched that just from you guys, uh, from hearing yeah. you guys talk about it. Um, that show was awesome. She wasn't she wasn't on board with it the first few episodes, but. It, I think um, it's going right when it gets to like the gay couple in the wood. They have to take yeah. a little bit down. Yeah, they're hella down. I I love that. There's a good episode there. Um, yeah. I uh, there was just one episode, right? That's yeah. that show is that show is awesome, man. I really like that it show. Is. It is. I love yeah. how they will though, like right in the middle of some serious shit, we'll take a break for a full episode and go, like, explore some other characters, like kind of unique in that sense i really, really dig that and and but it all it either comes into play or it's just really good like did we yeah. need like for the story did we need to see that gay couple episode no it didn't really further the story they were just they kind of intersected their lives intersected with his life but it was such good storytelling that it's like you don't care you're just like okay yeah. fuck it man. show me some more of these yeah and i will say like they tied that back in so well on the back end when uh, they came and got the truck and stuff. Yeah. Like, like all the, and the, they're like, uh, what, what was the girl's name that died? I know that's pretty, everybody died, but you know, like the first, the first gal he's with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The girlfriend the, the or with, whatever. There was yeah. friends with, uh, there was also friends with that couple. Right. Uh, yeah. Like how she asked, like, how she's doing, she passed and all that. And yeah, they, they tied it in back in super good. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're, I think they're we gave like, a, a lot of praise for that episode too. Because it was like, you didn't need it, but you did not need it. Yeah. Right. And a lot of times when you watch a show that, that veers off into an episode like that, you'd call it a filler episode. You'd be like, this was just like, they were just trying to, to, to fill out the season, but it didn't feel that way. Trying to turn the frogs gay. Yeah. I, that's probably what's going on. <laughs> I, I like that episode, and uh, that episode I felt like was important, and along with a lot of other parts in that in that show, where it helped show the progression of time. 
Um, yeah. Like when 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 it first picks up that episode, I don't know. I, I feel like you don't re- you don't really realize that it's like a flashback kind of or whatever. Right. Um, until you're getting through it, because you don't you, like you have no idea this progression of time. But like with the uh, with the main chick, like it's I think it's kind of alluded to throughout the series that she was like born during the this the, the yeah. apocalypse or whatever. But then you, right. know, Pan- you get that pandemic get story later on. Right. Yeah. yeah. What, what was it like? Twenty years or something that passed with that couple, or something? Yes. Something. Crazy. It was a long span of time. Something like that, and that's cool. Like that's a cool perspective with this show that you. I don't know that we've seen with that I've seen at least with any other like a uh, zombie or apocalypse type thing. Usually, it's yeah. like the and, it, directly... and it's a video game show, right? Like this is yeah. A show... Yeah. I'm not never... a. I'm not a big gamer, but the show I love the show. Just like yes. isn't Silent isn't Silent Hill also a video game? Yep. And the movie was like super freaky deaky. I'm making a new one because they made that sequel to Silent Hill, and there was like it was just like all like cheap CGI stuff. It was like it wasn't it was just whack. But anyway, they are uh, yeah, they're making a new they're making a new one. Sorry. To I- just- I saw an awesome movie right. with with my wife last week, uh, two weeks ago now, called Nefarious, and it was like I've been wanting to watch that. It was it was wild. I didn't expect it to be any good um, because it had low ratings online, uh, and then and my wife she was just like, oh, I mean, it sounds cool, and the description is like um, something like a clinical psychologist is interviewing a guy on death row to determine whether he's fit to be put to death or if he might be insane. And then you can't kill it. You know, you can't kill a mentally ill person like that. So, um, that was, that's like the premise. And I knew nothing about it gone in. You don't realize till kind of like maybe halfway to three quarters of the way through that, like there's some religious overtones to it. Mm. The, the guy who's being put to death, claims to be a demon and you're like okay so he's he's trying to get out of this death penalty right it's his last chance like he's claiming to be a demon this guy's calling him out the the guy who's the psychologist he's an atheist and the other guy is claiming to be a demon inside of the body of this guy and it goes back and forth and you're wondering the whole time is he fucking crazy is he faking it what's going on or is he really possessed by a demon, right? Is he a dude trying to play another dude inside another dude? Yeah, he might be one of those. <laughs> guys. Sorry, when you were describing dude, it, it kind of played, my brain went there. <laughs> yeah, so he, you know, it, it goes throughout the movie. I'm not going to tell you everything, but, you know, with all the stuff that this demon, quote unquote, talks about, it it kind of ruffled some feathers because it is a religious themed film. Now, my thing is like, they've been making religious themed horror films for fucking decades. Like the, the exorcist is, is highly religious themed. Like you have to believe in God and believe in the devil for these movies. Religious. Yeah. So, um, any possession movie is going to be religious. So the the difference is, the difference with this one is it was made by these Christian filmmakers. Oh. The people who made um, like uh, God's Not Dead and shit like that stuff. I would never see, honestly, because it's probably I probably wouldn't care for it at all. But not knowing that this was like made by those people and going in and watching it. Fucking incredible, dude. It was so damn good. And it was like 90 percent of the movie is a conversation. Now, some people can't get down with that, but I fucking thought it was amazing, dude. It was just this conversation between the psychologist and this death row inmate. And you trying to figure out if this guy's a fucking demon, if he's faking it, whatever. And then also he tells the guy shit like, by the end of the day, you're going to commit three murders. By the end of the day, you will have committed three murders. And the guy's like, the fuck out of here, right? And so, and then it's like slowly unveiled what that means. And like, it's, it's fucking awesome. 
and I, I'm recommending it to everybody because I think it really got review bombed by you know people that were like, ah, oh, it's Christian bullshit, it's Christian propaganda, blah blah blah. It's like, what's what? It's not propaganda. Look, dude, do I believe it all? No. Do I believe in all the Bible and shit? No. Yes. But this movie was fucking awesome. So. Anyway, uh, all right. Great. Well, I it's for nefarious. All right. Well, I will watch it for sure. I watch everything though. Um, dude, I went back and watched that uh, after as I did go see the Evil Dead at the movie theater. Yeah. And then uh, I watched the one from 2014, also scary. Yeah. Now Kimberly says I can't watch scary movies at night. What? I don't understand. Thank you. Gave her nightmares. Oh, it gave her nightmares. Evil yeah. Dead, what, the remake? Yeah, the 2014. I was going to watch the 1981 or whatever, the one in the cabin. But because I, now yeah. that I've watched one, they're all popping up on shows you might like, you know. And I'm like, fuck yeah. It was like, fuck no. <laughs> so the, next time next time she goes out to do something, I'll uh, give it a whirl. But yeah, I'm, right. I'm all in on the Evil Dead now. There was That's Evil it. Dead in 2014? Yeah, it's pretty good, dude. I thought it was uh, early. I thought it was like, but yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I watched it with my wife right before my daughter was born, I think. Yeah. And uh, that's about when it was. Is it, 20, is, it a re- is, is it a remake of like the originals? Is it Sam Raimi again? I No, it's just its own shit. I don't know. All of them, I think, are like the same idea, I it, but. I thought it was a reboot. Like it was a, a retelling of the cat story, no? Hmm. Honestly, I'm I watching them so close together. I'm having a hard time differentiating which ones, which. But yeah. I just remember like the people get possessed and they're all fucking scary and turn to like fucking demons and. Well, kill I, shit. Thought new, I thought the new the new one was cool. It was a cool take. The brand Actually, new one was amazing. Yeah, in an apartment building, like I thought that was wild. Like, yeah, uh, different than all the other ones. Oh yeah, and then the next day it's like. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it shows, like, it starts out at a cabin in the new one. Right. And then they go back. Out. Yeah. It's good shit. Um, okay. What was it I was going to say? Oh, and I watched Super Mario. That was good. Took, took Super my kid. Mario. Or the Mario movie. Yeah, I enjoyed it. You seen that one, Kurt? No, I haven't. I want to see that. That looks good. Yeah, it's it's pretty good, dude. And and they left a few things out that would lead me to believe they could do a sequel. And there I'm sure no, they will. There was no Wario, and there wasn't a lot of Yoshi action, but they did show him one time. So I feel like uh, they I'll left also, they met. Also, the little ghosts that move when you look away. Yeah, what the fuck? Stand still when you look at them left those out too so yeah plenty of shit they can bring in but i i love that they really they went hard on the nostalgia they really brought in stuff from the games that you wouldn't expect would make it into the first you know super mario brothers yeah and film yeah and it like is that a lot it was, yeah i was in it was very good had a yeah. good yeah 10 out of 10 and it was and it's cool to be able to like Generally, the movies I enjoy watching are not movies that I would want to take my kids to, but this one was like, I had fun, they had fun, it was it was nice. But yeah, oh, I watched Quantumanium too, finally. What'd you think of Quantumania? Uh, Kurt, have you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, what you the hell, watch it. It, it's Guardians, it's a, it's a, you haven't seen Quantumania? Ah, oh, man, it's... It's tough. It, I don't hear anybody say anything good about quantum, or not. There's not much good about quantum mania, and I hear everyone it, say good stuff about Guardians, but I really didn't like right. Guardians, so I don't know it, what to do. Well, it's better than Thor, the last Thor movie. Okay, that's not hard to do. I <laughs> know it's not. I know. Uh, it, it's not bad. It's it's definitely an Ant Man movie. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's an Ant Man movie. You know, it's Paul Rudd. I, I think part of the Ant-Man, like, the thing that makes Ant-Man fun is that it's, uh, like, pretty grounded storytelling. You know, it's yeah. about this guy who's a thief. And um, 
obviously the, it's crazy that he can shrink and communicate with ants and shit, but it, it felt like it's like, it's better when it takes place in a city. Like when you go to this quantum realm and it's this whole different world, you're, you know, your story's taking place in. Yeah. And I don't like how, yeah. uh, Same. I don't know. Kang don't was kind of, Kang was kind of a bum for not being able to beat Ant Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what? Can't beat Ant Man? Come on. If we're Kang the Conqueror and you can't beat At Man, get the fuck out of here. Fucking yeah, I, I I don't know, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Have him like? Then he's like, I've already killed you hundreds of times or whatever. It's like, right? So and how many fucking how many Kangs are there? So it's like, oh, I know, and that's the thing is like, yeah, how many Kangs are there? Now they're like all trying to like come together at the end, right? We're not gonna spoil it. Yeah. Well, it's it's on. I mean, it's not like it just came out. It's on yeah. Disney. But, but 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 Kurt hasn't watched it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a surprise that. Okay, whatever. You're right. I am giving up. <laughs> I'm giving. I'm giving up some game. To watch it, Kurt. You're. Yeah, you're fine. I. I'll probably. He'll probably you guys never say watch about it. it. <laughs> I'll watch Even... sooner or later. I will. The, nobody in the family has. None of the kids have or anything. So we'll we'll get to it. One of these days. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Secret Invasion is coming up soon, man. Like two weeks. No, Ooh. really? <clears throat> yeah, finally. Finally. Uh, After what, like eight months since a fucking show? Yeah, they've been sleeping for a minute. And then, yeah, is, I still, it, is it true that they announced uh, the Punisher is going to have its own thing? No. Is that just a rumor? Yeah, I think it's a rumor that they said that he... he Oh, they, I think it is true that John Bernthal has signed on to reprise his role, but I don't yeah. think they've said that there's going to be a Punisher show or that he's going to for sure show up in, in Daredevil. Oh, okay. Um, they were. But, I just keep seeing this meme is probably just fucking bullshit. They're saying that he's going to, that they, after Born Again, they're going to have a Punisher show. Hasn't been announced yet, but I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, everyone loves that, that version of the character, so. Yeah, and I mean, I'm glad they brought Charlie Cox back as Daredevil. all of them. And bringing back him, bring him if they bring back um, Burnthaw as Punisher. I think he's pretty much everybody's favorite Punisher. You know, behind Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I like him, but uh, I think Punisher Warzone is the best Punisher movie. Damn right, man. This yeah. is, see, is. this is what I'm here for, man. Me and Jesse, we're like this. Yeah. yeah. He's just, it's just, that's the Punisher, dude. He's just gangster. No, that, that was the best that portrayal, at least, especially for film, right? Like, yeah. That, remember that 2004 Thomas Jane Punisher that promised yeah, to be a which, Punisher? And it just wasn't, man. Like, it was better than the, than the, than the 1989 version my, we got. But. My wife prefers that, but... And, and, it, and it wasn't terrible, but it it wasn't for me, man. It got too silly at times, man. Like that fight with the Russian. Yeah. It, it just got a little silly. Hey, did silly. you know that? that did you, I'm pretty sure that was Kevin Nash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, look all goofy and shit. It's like, to put some respect on fucking Diesel's name, dude. So, yeah, I think, I, I think uh, um, you're right about that being the best Punisher film. But I still, yeah. I mean, I, I think. Burnthal makes good Punisher though. I'm I'm not think, man, I'm not taking away from him. Like is he is he as comic comic accurate as the Punisher Warzone? And that guy just died this week. Did you see that? The guy who played the Punisher in the Punisher Warzone? No, but that's fucking just ruined my day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's coming back. He he was in the Thor movies too. Was he? Yeah, he was uh what not uh I was gonna say Heimdale, but he's not Heimdale. He's uh Oh yeah, the guy that like carries around the M sixteens, right? Like that Oh, is that him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Damn, That's... he's a good actor. Cause he fucking I did not even put those two together. Yeah. That's some acting ability. <sighs> D Des and Troy. <laughs> fucking awesome. 
Des and Troy. See, Ragnarok was so good. Why they had to go make Love and Thunder? Like, I don't know. Kurt, did you even like Ragnarok? You didn't like I, it, did you? I didn't like Ragnarok much either. What? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, uh, thanks for auditioning for the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I. It took, uh, it took my wife so many tries to actually think that Ragnarok is okay. <clears throat> there were there were parts. I that's where we get we get like introduced to funny Thor, and uh, yeah. I think that's like one of my biggest problems with that movie is like not everything's yeah. got it. He doesn't have to be funny. Um. Yeah, I, don't really, I get, I, I get that. Do you yeah. think that Thor Ragnarok felt like a Guardians movie? It did had the same vibe. I did yes. it until now, but yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it definitely like it had a a very like pronounced soundtrack, right? Like the music is big. The music yeah. is what does it. The is the biggest thing that makes right. them. It's all yeah. laughs, right? Laughs everywhere. Plus, you're traveling to different planets. You're meeting the Collector and all this. It's like, it seemed much more Guardian than Thor. Yeah. Because the first two Thor movies, you were between Earth, you know, Midgard, and... I don't, why, you, why am I you, blinking? You were just in, you're in the different realms. Yeah. Not different yeah. planets. It was like you're so on the Rainbow it, Bridge it was, to different place. Mid Guide, High Guard, Yodenheim, yeah. the the Thor yeah. place. You're dealing with you're dealing with <laughs> yeah. You're doing ice you're giants and rock Earth, people. And you're dealing you're dealing with Asgard and you're dealing with Earth. But then we get into that movie, it's like it's like uh universe hopping, or not universe hopping, but like galaxy hopping, right? They're all over the place, oh, yeah. meeting different aliens and shit. It felt That's, a lot more yeah, they're trying to tell that, that Hulk story alongside of uh, Thor. That's yeah, uh, I know. And it's like, I wish they would have. It's too late now for the Mark Ruffalo Hulk to have an independent Hulk movie. But um, I wish they would have done that, given like a Planet Hulk instead of selling Planet Hulk and Ragnarok into one. You know, or, like. Or they could have just fucking. I don't know. They the could have made two 90-minute movies. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to see... Instead of one two-and-a-half-hour movie and give them each their own I'm movie. still sad we, we didn't get to see Norton's Hawk interact with the Avengers. <clears throat> mm, maybe we will in the multiverse, but probably not because he Never. lost that job because of his shitty attitude. He's a prima donna, yeah. Yeah, just like you. <laughs> yeah. My show. <laughs> What's it say? What does it say? Long Lost Brothers. What does it say underneath that? Brett Scott Number... Productions LLC. <laughs> when the fuck did that start? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you take your fifty percent earnings. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think you take your seven dollars over three years. Pick it up your fucking ass, Mr. Go buy you fucking three rock stars and shut the fuck up. All right. So I think I think we should get into some Kurt's got questions because you do have questions, right? I've got questions. Yeah. Let's fucking jump in, man. How many did you bring? You got three questions? You got ten uh, questions? I've got uh four or five, but uh oh, I was only shit. I was planning on three, so Let's, go. Okay. let's just let's do them all. Let's do them all. <laughs> See how much Dude. time we have. Let's, let's just like go a, in. I'm like a coke uh, addict. Let's do it all, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, I feel like I I might have asked this one already. It, this might have been in the first go round, but uh, I I can change it. Favorite uh favorite ice cream. Nope, favorite we didn't ice have cream. Yet. I gotta go Rocky Road. All right, moving on. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you guys want to argue that, my, my stance on that, but you get, you get that. Yeah, Rocky, Rocky Road sucks. What yeah. Fuck. I got to agree. Rocky Road's kind of lame, man. That's a lame answer. It's not all exotic right. at all. You tell me about all these, like, 
uh, exotic wiener joints and weird fucking places you go. I, I know. And, uh-huh. and then you're going to go. You, there's no onion ice cream out there? Yeah, come on, man. Oh, I wish they did. I wish. You seen that big dude? Hold on, I'll let you guys answer, and then I have uh, ice cream related topics to bring up after. You have an ice cream related topic? All right. They they make weird ice cream. I want to tell you about it. All right, man. I gotta go. Listen, I actually just discovered a new one, but there's several varieties of this, but it's anything that's like hardcore peanut butter. So if you get like like Blue Bell has one, or maybe it's Blue Bunny has one called peanut butter panic mm. and i fucking love it so it's it's like little peanut butter cups and it's got like it's got chocolate swirl in it like and, and it's not like the kind when you get chocolate swirl ice cream where it's like the syrup it's like yeah. it's kind of hardened right it's kind of like a hardened peanut butter swirled yeah. in it. okay and then it's it, it's got peanut butter and chocolate of those swirls fucking best thing ever i'm a huge fucking like reese's guy i love peanut butter anything and um, i wrote that down just because my fat ass is probably gonna go get some after this (laughs) now peanut butter panic they they got that at walmart yeah i'm not a big ice cream dude but damn that shit sounds fucking hidden i am my stomach can't fucking handle it but i still just i can't stop man i I did get i did take my mom to dairy queen because she likes she likes her little dairy queen i got some fucking some kind of fucking cheesecake blizzard fucking chocolatey goodness that was off the hook. But if I go, but I was saying like if I go to the store and I'm like, I'm gonna get an ice cream. Like it's usually gonna be Rocky Road. Rocky what about you, Rick? Kurt? Might as well get that fucking Neapolitan fucking weirdo. <laughs> if uh, if I'm going to the store, we're buying ice cream at the store. I'm yep. getting uh, uh, Superman. I like the the Superman ice cream. Uh, really. Superman but- ice- yeah, mm-hmm. you don't. You, Superman you ice Superman. cream. Yeah, you guys. The, yeah, right. All right. Um, is that well, East Coast thing? So, uh, originally, oh. Superman ice cream is like the ice cream truck, right? Like you get the. Oh, uh, um, okay. Like, like the, the 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 popsicle. No, not like popsicle. No. It's an ice cream stick originally, right? Oh, I don't. Oh, I. Are you? I'm picturing when you say that. I'm picturing like the the rest the WWF wrestler ice cream stick guys um no, more more like the so the ice cream sticks i'm thinking of are um you ever had the ninja turtle ice cream from the ice cream truck yeah with Has, the, with like gumball eyes and stuff yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah did they have a superman one of those oh uh, maybe probably i'm talking okay, about but like, i know what you're talking about it's like red blue and yellow ice cream yes. right yeah yeah yeah, it's red, blue, and yellow ice cream. I think that's the flavors too. Red, blue, and yellow. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> uh, that sure stuff, man, that stuff is great. I love that stuff. Um, so does uh, like the whole family does. We if we could buy if we buy like a gallon of that or whatever, it's it's gone that night. Um, but then All there's right. a there's an ice cream place by the house that that the kids love to go to, and uh, if we go there, I'll get a, a blizzard. And I'll get a blizzard with Reese's Pieces and Nerds. Oh, mixed together, huh? Mixed together. It's oh, the, you do the the chocolate and the fruit flavors combined. Yeah, man, it's good. It's like you got the the sweet and the savory. It's good. The uh, okay. And yeah. They, the place they had Nerds for only like one season, and nobody liked them. But the lady said she she keeps uh, she keeps some on hand just for me. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I, yeah. So. Now it's funny that you say that because anytime I get anytime I go to a, a place that like doesn't have like a peanut butter specialty, I order an Oreo Blizzard, and I have them put the peanut butter sauce in it and mix it in. So I got a peanut butter Oreo Blizzard. That's funny. You know what I yeah. used to make when I this is like the fat boy shit. Like you know I used to work at uh, at Jack in the Box and I had the Oreo uh, fucking. The Oreo milkshake, right? Yeah. So, but I, what I do is I take like, I wouldn't take the shake cup. I take like the big at the biggest soda cup, and I fill it, and then I put the strawberry syrup in there, and then I put like hella, hella, hella Oreos, and I'm like, ah, like grind that shit up, and just sit there and eat like a fat bastard all night. So it's oh, like a man. strawberry Oreo, good. like a strawberry uh, cookies and cream. 
Yeah, it was nice. Actually, sounds good. That sounds like a uh, uh, oh, it it's like berries and cream, but with cookie. Yeah, and then sometimes when I was being an extra fat ass, I put sugar in it or not sugar, but a uh, chocolate. Sure. The chocolate because it's always vanilla ice cream, and then you yeah. could put. Uh, cho- a pump of chocolate or a pump of strawberry or whatever the flavor of the month might be the shamrock or whatever and in oreos you just like scoop them in so yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah sometimes i just go bananas and just put everything in it it's like the everything shake fuck it probably should have never been like being the manager of a Jack in the box. <laughs> uh, you guys are weird, man. Mix in the fucking sweet with the <laughs> mix in the like the sour with the sweet. That Kurt, that's too far for one. YOLO, uh, Brett. Listen, I'll put now what I will do is you go to the movie theater and you get a bucket of popcorn and throw some candies in that. That's good. But I would never put fruit candies in it. It would be like my first I'm calling, the, you read I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Listen. You put what Reese's the fuck Pieces. Are, what the fuck are you talking about, Brett? You don't know. <laughs> so, listen, here's how we used to do it. When I was a kid, this is how I got introduced to it. My brother would get a, a, a large popcorn, and they would buy a bag of Whoppers. This is back when the bags of candy were fucking massive at the theater, right? Yeah. yeah. And he would buy a bag of Whoppers, and he would pour like half the bag of Whoppers into the popcorn. And the popcorn is still warm, so it kind of like warms up the malted milk balls, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's good. Yeah. But I discovered yeah, that little time, chocolatey jizz all over your popcorn. Yeah, yeah. And like Kurt was saying, sweet and savory. This is like buttery yeah, popcorn, yeah. Okay. Flavor, salty with the. Su- anyway, so I discovered though later that like there's much better things to put in there, like Reese's Pieces. Put Reese's Pieces. In- you ever held a Reese's Pieces in your hand for a while? And then when you eat it, it just fucking like it. Once that shell breaks, it's just goo inside. A nice warm Reese's piece. Piece. You're making that shit sound way too sexy right now, <laughs> dude. So yeah, you put some warm popcorn. Yeah. That's what happens. You get a bunch of like the shell keeps it from melting all over the place, but it's all melty right. in the inside. It's fucking delicious. You're gonna do it next time you go to the theater. I might. I will. Yeah, I sneak, will. So sneak you in some Reese's because don't fucking pay for the bot. They're a dollar, a dollar. Yeah, nah. Oh, that's nah, what we dude, What we did for Mario was we went to the dollar store and like. Yeah. I suddenly like yeah, he did that too. like big extra big hoodie style thing right now. He's like, I'll sneak them in. Don't worry. We buy a hell of candies. And then I, I did buy a big ass popcorn and a soda though. Yeah, we still do that. We buy the popcorn. Honestly, we buy a popcorn and a drink. Any candy though, we take on our own and uh. <laughs> I got yeah. a fucking man. I got a man purse now, so I fucking I'm the snack wielder, and I bring yeah. it all the snacks. I can fit like four of those boxes in my purse. Dude, we went hiking today, and I brought I put the fanny pack on because I was wearing a short uh, shorts that didn't have no uh, no pockets, and I yeah. was like, I was like, you know what, son, I'm bringing the because now like I, I have like two phones because of work and stuff, my wallet and everything is like. Yeah, pants are all. I was like, I'm bringing the fanny pack back, son. I have a cool, co- I have a cool little collection of fanny packs. Like, if people want to hate, let them hate. I'll just put it. I'll put. The, I'll take their hate. I'll put it in my fanny pack. <laughs> mine's nice. Mine's nice. So mine's like a shoulder strap. You put it yeah. over the shoulder. You wear it across your chest. And then I got a champion it, one like that. And, yeah, and the way it's shaped, like the way the strap is on it, you can actually kind of wear it like a backpack. Like it'll hang. Yeah. Yeah, and, and lower back. So, you know, not quite as Percy, but still just as pussy. Yeah. <laughs> has yeah. has this show always been so gay? I had no idea. <laughs> no, yeah, you, you gay up. <laughs> no. well, this is this is the first episode of Pride Month, so. Yeah. It is. That's why we invited Kurt on. Why, why are you acting like we didn't talk about this before, Jesse? <laughs> This is completely planned, Kurt. We had this plan. <laughs> what are we going to do for Pride Month? It's like, well, what about <laughs> we'll, we'll do some gay themed Kurt Scott lesson? I was like, oh, even better. Let's bring on the man himself. We're going to yeah, get, I, I don't we're have, get I Kurt. Don't have we're going to get some Bud Light. Yeah. We're going to watch some, we're gonna watch some Arrowverse. Oh, man. 
I should have saved the I, sausage questions for this episode. Yeah, <laughs> see, I said. <laughs> no, I said Kurt did not expect that to get turned around on him. No. He <laughs> came out with the like, when did the show get so gay? It's like, today, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Brought it with you. All right. <laughs> I might I might be changing the name of the episode now. <laughs> anyway, uh why don't we move on to question two, man? All right. Uh oh, I wasn't telling you about the Big Mac ice cream. Oh, you want to do your ice cream related story? It's just kind of gross, something I saw. You know how they do the stove cold creameries where they put like all the stuff on there and they chop it up and freeze it and they pour cream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I seen them I seen them do that with a Big Mac. It was kind of disgusting. Where did you see this? <clears throat> On the internet. I don't know where, but I saw it happen. I was like, is that, like, man, that's what you call the cops. At least the health inspector. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's, that's pretty full throat. Yeah, but I, I kind of want to try it, though. So, yeah, sweet and savory, right? <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Kurt, 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 be all, Kurt would be all about that. Like, yeah, get some more Max sauce on that. <laughs> yeah. Just thinking about like how the lettuce would like you licking it and you get a lettuce and like, your tooth, like yeah, little tomato seeds and shit. Oh. <laughs> nice little extra helping of onions in it. All right, stop. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's uh, the next question? <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, favorite theme park? I've never been to a theme park. Stop. You've never been to a place that has roller coasters and shit? <clears throat> I've been to Washington State Fair. That's it. This is so funny, Kurt. Like, last week, I asked Jesse, I'm like, hey, man, you want to go to a theme park when you're here? Because we got season passes to fucking Cedar Point, which is one of the best theme parks in the fucking nation. It's gigantic. The roller coaster capital of the world. You yeah. undersell that place, man. I know. It's fucking incredible. And it, it, it is. Like, any you watch any of the um, – so there's a bunch of roller coaster-themed YouTube channels, people who review coasters and talk about – and, like, Cedar Point is, like, the fucking place to go. Other than, like, some oddball places in, like, Japan and, and stuff like that, like, Cedar Point is the theme park. They got all the shit. We got okay, two I- – I'll have, to, we got, I'll have to bring that under review with the missus. I have never. Yeah, so we've got. Uh, um, but, truth be told, I'm not really into like going on rides and shit. So. Uh, what? Yeah. When did this be such a gay podcast? <laughs> yeah, because you 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 don't know because you haven't tried. How did like? I've jumped out of an airplane. That's not first time you had. I went last year on. I, I do like a, a good roller coaster. I don't really like like the rides that like spin you around and shit like that. And, like, well, yeah, ride. you're talking about a you're talking about a fair. A roller coaster, a theme park is not a fair. It's so at, if you go to a theme park, there's this place that's just like a fair at the theme park, and it's called the Kitty Land. It's for the children. The real rides, the ones my kids go on. Are the fucking roller coasters the death defying fucking insane roller coasters? I can't believe you're not a roller coaster guy or that you haven't really ridden any because I've, I've been on two roller coasters in my life. That's wild, man. Do you guys have a theme park out that you've got to have some, right? It's There's probably Seattle like or something, Six Flags or something around here somewhere. I'd imagine. Yeah. I don't you're- know. Shut- how are you gonna? I just I don't understand. This is, how do we not talk about this before? You you because I'm not twelve. An airplane. <laughs> you jumped out of an airplane. Yeah. But you're like, eh, I'm not really a well, theme park guy. Like what? What? I was like, <clears throat> the only cool thing about a roller coaster is it's like driving your car how you want with no repercussions and zero chance of crashing. Is that the only cool thing? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, Jesse. I, I think... I don't know. I think we got to get you on some fucking roller coasters, dude. This is crazy. All right. I mean, we'll see what's up. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, but I don't think we're going to go when you're here, so scrap that. <laughs> you just sold the <laughs> body. <laughs> 
He just sold me just on saw- it. Now you're like, now uh, we got season passes. They got <laughs> fucking badass fucking hot dogs there. I didn't say nothing about glizzies. I didn't say a I word know. about glizzy. I know. That's me selling it to myself. Hot dogs are probably like oh. Anyway, uh, Kurt, yeah, my, my answer, I guess, would be Cedar Point, the best fucking theme park in the world. Yeah, tough to beat that one. What's um, Jesse, the Washington State Fair? I, yeah, I mean, that's, my, that's all I got. It's like, Fuck, you I'm like just... sex? I like to jack off, because that's all I remember. Done. <laughs> Look, I'm not making fun of you. I really wish that you could experience a theme park. I, I fucking can't believe you haven't. I think that sucks. Man, we we just went to the we went to Six Flags last week last Monday. No shit. Yeah, yeah. We uh, I don't know. But we go quite a bit. Maybe I just don't know what I'm missing out on. Yeah, well, man. I I feel like a kid when I'm back when I'm there. It's cool. Oh yeah. It's fun. Uh, my favorite. I don't know, man. I'd probably say something. Uh, I'd probably like Disney. Uh, Disney World, but there's like ten theme parks. Is that cheating? I I was actually going to say, because I I forgot if you had been to Disney. So have you ever been to Cedar Point or no? No, I haven't. No, I've uh, I've always wanted to go there. I was at Kings Island, which uh, which is another Ohio theme park. What? It's a really good one. Um, It's a really good one. It was better when it was movie themed. Back in the nineties, it, it was Paramount's Kings Island. That's, so it was like all the rides there. were themed. Around, yeah, like all the rides were themed around Paramount films. So they had like Tomb Raider, Face Off, um, the, the 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 Flight of Fear. And the Tomb Raider ride, uh, did they have a girl with big titties? Yeah, it was actually kind of cool. It was like a video. It was like a video ride. It, oh. it was weird. It wasn't anything like a roller coaster. It was like you were in this big. Uh, imagine you're like sitting in a that. theater. And, I would like to do that, like one of those interactive was, 3D rides, like a Star Wars ride kind of thing. That would be cool. Oh, imagine, imagine being in a theater, and then the row of seats you're sitting in starts to spin around and like flip upside down and fly. Yeah, up in the yeah, air. yeah. I've seen like videos of that on the interwebs. I don't want. Yeah. I'll do, be into that. I dug it. Um, and then they had like. I think the lamest ride there was the Top Gun ride, which is ridiculous. It should be the baddest fucking ride there, but it, it was really lame. I could have went to, I could have went to Disneyland, but I stayed home, and that's the week that me and Kimberly got together. So I'm actually glad I never went to a theme park, or I wouldn't have my wife right now. I just, I still feel like you would have benefited. I don't see her in that room. I don't see her in that room with you, Jesse. What the hell? Come on. No, she's, she's over there doing her hair right now. Oh, my God. Just when I thought this episode couldn't get any gayer. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely should have went to Disneyland instead of meeting the love of my life. You're, you're right, Kurt. I'm such a fag. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I just think you could have met her the week after. I, I mean, I already knew her, but I... She would have still been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, wait, 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 wait. It, 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 so Kim's sitting right there. Yeah. What's her? Ask her about theme parks. Does she like theme parks? Does What's she have your a favorite, favorite theme park, babe? Have you ever been to a theme park? Yeah. Who the fuck hasn't been, to, been to a theme park? She's <laughs> been to Silverwood. I'm oh, the only so- one. I've only been to the state fair. That's the, the closest thing to a theme park I've been to. Uh, and then she said she's also been to Great Wolf Lodge. We just a water park. We always drive by that. And I'm always. Oh, and she's been to Six Flags. I'm just the only fucking loser that's never been to. It. <laughs> okay. Well, my wife had, <laughs> and you my wife like, just... had a oh, harder yeah. upbringing than me. But it seems like she's been through a lot of way more cooler shit than me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it evens out. It's like it's like. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you had a harder life, but you went to more theme parks, so <laughs> kind of, uh, I, I kind of yeah. feel Brett's like just, Brett's like, uh, it trips me out that you have the season passes to a theme park. That's, it trips you out that I have season passes. That's not. It seems like you go on roller coasters that much that you necessitate a season pass. 
That's oh. pretty awesome. Like, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're I'm, going to I'm this jealous. year. Listen, let me be honest. I hadn't until this year ridden a roller coaster since like probably 2005. Wow. Mm. Like it had been a good almost 20 years. But I don't know. I just feel like that's something you do like in your early 20s or something. Like, I don't know, as a teenager, like theme park. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm I don't scared know. To do roller coasters. I guess you could say my whole like life was a roller coaster, Brett. <laughs> I I think we've got season passes for Six Flags for like ten years running right now. Damn, you guys are just fucking living your best life. Season passes to theme parks. Huh. <laughs> I have a yeah, Discover well, Pass for hiking. Listen, two man, years, it, it so- two it years like, running. It sounds like we're balling, right? But no, a season pass costs as much as like two visits. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, it's so not, you kind of pay pass, double and you can come when you want. Yeah, yep. it's not. It's not Disney, man. You, where it's like D- Disney, it's like two hundred dollars for a day. For us, it's like two hundred bucks that buys you that buys you the season pass for and one you're person. And you just dial, you're like dialed in all summer. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. Totally. Like it's a waste if you plan on going like one time and then you go up to the gate and they're always like signs everywhere, season passes, like whatever, yeah. this much money, and then you're like, wait a minute, how much am I paying today? And it's like really close to the amount that it costs to fucking get a season pass. It's like, yeah, why yeah. not? Why it's, not? It's, you just got to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like going going to the museum or something and becoming a member or something. You ever do that? Yeah. Go no, because I'm not a fucking dork. <laughs> <laughs> How about the zoo, man? You guys got a zoo out there? Man, fuck zoos too. How about that? <laughs> Dang it, man. <laughs> just... just uh, Man, I, no, I've I've been to Portland Zoo and Seattle Zoo. Kurt, yeah. just let Jesse stay in his house and do nothing. <laughs> I, I was just at the I was just at the Trail of Ten Falls this morning. We we rented a, a like very nice glamp tent and went canoeing in a pond last night. Not a dork, could just do different stuff. <laughs> not a, I guess I, I, mean, I am a dork, but. <clears throat> All right. Did we all did we all share? Okay, Jesse is uh, NA. A fucking a loser. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not applicable. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking all right. Loser. Whatever. Fa- what, some... The fair of whatever city I live in at the time. <laughs> Come on. I hope your next question is like something to do with like uh, I don't know something Jesse can get down with. All right. Yeah. This is this is an easy one. Uh, here's a softball for you. Uh, the wife and kids are out for tonight. What yep. are you doing? Definitely masturbating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm starting to hide them off. They're, they're <laughs> not home. What's stopping you where they are? They got a bathroom, right? No, 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 no. But you got free I got a lock on my door. <laughs> nah. Listen, uh, okay. You can do it in the living room on the big screen. <laughs> yeah. I just feel wrong. Whatever, dude. Dude, no, so anyway, just, hey, anyway, no, 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 wait, genuinely. Wait, 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 wait. I have to tell you this, or I'm going to forget. Speaking of that, I know, what story could I be telling after that? Speaking of fucking masturbating, my, so. I'm all yours. <laughs> I'm on this app called Nextdoor. And I think I've talked about it before, where it's like a neighborhood Facebook, yeah. right? Just, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the like, neighborhood watch, like, app. Kind of, yeah. And um, that's where I find a lot of my landscaping jobs. But this, this, uh, somebody posted like everybody's got those fucking ring cameras now. Yeah. And uh, this post I just saw it like blew up on there. It's like, this man masturbated on my porch last night. We got the whole thing, we got the whole thing on video. Oh, that's awesome. Everyone's like, please don't fucking share the video. Well, please, like, no, please do. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Not, they I they mean, sent a screenshot of the guy standing on their porch, but you know you don't see his stick or anything. Uh, well, yeah, you, imagine don't... where you're at in life, where you're like, man, let me run up on this porch real quick and hit it. Away. <laughs> That's... You gonna feel something? I'm gonna leave some. <laughs> <laughs> you go right out their door handle, man. That's what I'm gonna do when I come visit you. I'm gonna jerk off on that same neighbor's porch. 
Like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is up with my porch? <laughs> I haven't put that the jerk off bandit strikes again. <laughs> they don't know it's a copycat. <laughs> Give me a fucking COVID mask and some fucking lube, dude. It's fucking yeah. over. <laughs> Your poor neighbors. Uh, I'm sorry. I cut you off for that. What, what are you doing with the kids out of town, Jesse Cole? What, what am I doing? Um, well, I'm a, <clears throat> okay, this is what I generally do. I uh, eat bad food, for sure, off top. Like, you know, if I get, like, pizza or gas station food, maybe both. And then, or maybe pizza from a gas station. Then I'm going to probably watch like Freddy Krueger, Hellraiser, or Jason Voorhees movies. That's generally, that's generally what I do. Let me ask you. I mean, if I'm I'm staying home, but I try to do one chore though. I'm like, okay, I'll I'll do a little laundry and fold laundry. And then I'm going to eat all this bad food and watch TV. I'm like, I'll clean the kitchen, and then I'm going to eat this bad food and watch TV. It sounds like you have experience. Like, how, how often does this situation present itself? Well, not often, but that's like, if Kimberly's going somewhere with the, with the kids, then it's like, all right, I can watch this shit on TV that Kimberly's going to be like, what the fuck are you watching? You know, yeah. which is, for me, is like, it's, it's like 80s slasher movies or like Hellraiser or something just that I know is stupid. That I'm like just melting my brain watching that, it, you know, like all the Hellraisers are terrible, but I want to yeah. watch them all. Gay porn. <laughs> I do that when Kimberly's home, fool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, no, I was just curious because, like, I don't remember the last time that happened. Like, like not not like at night, like not like a full evening out. Like, a, oh no, it's never that. Even a day, like I, I never. I swear to God, I think my wife plans it that way. Like, she, you know, she's like, we're gonna go while he's busy. He don't get no fucking time. Like, he gets to do podcasts. That's his time. So, you know, there's no leaving me. Aren't you at work while he do that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's my this is my me time so all right i want to know kurt what about you man what do you do uh it's probably one or two things and the and one of them is exactly what uh what jesse said i'm gonna yeah probably do the dishes while i wait for the the pizza to cook or wait for the delivery <laughs> to show up and <laughs> and sit down i'll probably start my night would start with me cycling through Netflix and every other app looking for a movie to watch, only for me to settle on watching reruns of The Office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I'd be doing if the if the family was home, but without any Man. arguing. Yeah. I just, not too long ago, I watched like all of The Big Bang Theory. And yeah. That was all right. I kind of got like halfway through Young Sheldon and then I'm just kind of lost now. But uh, <clears throat> I guess they're doing like another fucking spinoff of like Peggy and uh, Leonard. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm here for it. Around. Yeah. I'll ride that bitch till the wheels fall off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and the dude that played, I just watched some movie with uh, the dude that played, Jim Parsons. The dude that plays Sheldon, uh-huh. where he's he's a gay dude and um, falls in love with this other dude, uh-huh. and he it is, the other dude gets cancer, and it's just it's just really sad. It's a good movie, but it's like super sad. Man, I, I'm gonna check that out right after watching Marley and Me. Just make a fucking <laughs> thing of it. I just like Jim Parsons. All right, fuck off. Hey, what was that movie called? That movie with, with Jim, with Jim, with Sheldon, where he's gay and his boyfriend gets cancer. Oh, she doesn't know the name either. Well, the the episode title is based is on a true story. <laughs> Long last cousin's Pride Month. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it Pride Month or something like Pride, Pride, Gay Pride. I'm gonna call it the Gay Owl with Jesse Cole, like <laughs> something. All right. Bro. 
I love okay. how we've all had moments where we could say that another person in the group is making the podcast gayer. <laughs> Throughout this whole thing, it's been like, oh, yeah, okay. You're, you're making this podcast super gay. And it's like, oh, no, you are making it super gay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That's all right, though. Happy Pride, everyone. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, what was the question? Why, why is Brett so gay? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do at, when you're at home and your family's out? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't even like that's. I like I said, it's not even a possibility in my house. Like strategically planned so that doesn't happen. My life is laid out so that I'm not allowed to have that. No, I think um, it, it's kind of funny. It's kind of like what Kurt said, right? I think when I get in that situation, which I, I have, it's usually in the afternoon sometime, though. It's never like a yeah, night. Same, evening, same. Middle of the afternoon. Um, honestly, my first go-to is to work out. It's like to get a workout in because I might not be able to. And if I have an opportunity where no one else needs me, fucking that's perfect. So I'll go yeah. for a run or fucking hit a workout. But if it's like just hang out chill by myself do what i want time yeah it's the same shit that kurt said like i'm gonna cycle through shit just trying to decide like what do i do with this time what movie do i watch i've got freedom here and then yeah you you i usually cycle through like superhero shit because i'm like eva's not into that so i'm like i'm gonna i'm gonna rewatch endgame i'm gonna watch fucking the snyder cut that's what i'm gonna do like yeah i watch the the dc cartoons a lot I end up settling most of the time for something like reruns of Star Trek, the original fucking series. Like, put that on. And then I, what, what's really funny is I end up like, or fucking around on my phone instead. And then they're back home before I know it. It's like, yeah. oh. Yeah, that, that's kind of, I feel like that's the consensus. Like, my workouts, I'm usually like, they're planned usually, so... I'm like, oh, I have free time. I could go work out, but I already worked out. So, yeah, mine's mine are get in where you fit in. So it's like, that's perfect. If I wake up and the family went to take care of some errands or something, I'm like, yes, fucking get the workout in right away. Hell yeah. Like otherwise, it's like, where can I fucking fit this bitch in? Where where can I fit the workout in? <clears throat> Speaking so, of working out, I think I'm gonna start Olympic lifting again. I did some like. I was fucking around with some kids at my gym this week, and uh, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot that I like this. Yeah, that was, like, what's funny is, like, I before we made that reel or whatever that I posted, like, yeah, I, I blasted that with good with good form, and then, like, I tried it again, and it, that was, like, a PR, like, lifetime PR. It was, like, I, I think it was, like, 170-something pounds. I don't know, it was in kilos, so I didn't really get the math on it. But, like, that was so bad, and, like, I, like, strained my back doing it. But, like, that fucking dumbass reel got, like, so much traction. I was like, what the fuck? Really? Are... We're going to get you back into some uh, some CrossFit-type workouts, and we're going to start instituting some challenges again in this bitch. Yeah, if I can stay fucking healthy for more than 30 I'm seconds. Gonna, dude, I, hope you, I hope you land at our house on a fucking Monday. I hope on Monday. You... Oh, uh, Murph. Monday is Murph, baby. Okay. Well, I'll I'll give I'll do my best. I rolled my <laughs> fucking ankle, dude. I swear, I'm like made of glass these days, son. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you should you should do like uh, Goggins with that uh with that guy that like on the basketball up. team. No, like the two of you. You know that story with Goggins and the the owner of the basketball team. Goggins lived in this house for like thirty <laughs> days. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, Greg can come live with me for 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> You'd probably get really depressed and fat. <laughs> He'd be like trying to motivate me, but he just gained 20 pounds. Fucking start going bald. <laughs> it, would just be a, it, it would just be like a, a constant battle of like, can I motivate him? Can he demotivate me? <laughs> I'm going to bring this guy back down to his roots. Uh, I've been training uh, fucking hard, son. I'm telling you. I'm getting pretty fucking jacked. I know. That's why I'm waiting. I'm waiting for these gay shirtless photos. <laughs> I'm not ripped, but I'm I am fucking swole. 
Um, I did want to bring this up though, since we're talking about working out here and, and like doing some shit. Uh, Kurt Schmidt ran a fucking 10 K last week. Oh yeah. How, how yes. did that go? Uh, it went pretty good. I so 10 K uh, that's like six miles, right? Yep. Uh, 6.4. Is that right? Yeah. Two, yeah. Six, six point two, two. Oh, there you go. Okay. Six point two two, yeah. Um, but your kids, your kids ran it too, and that's uh, uh yeah. what was even more impressive. So tell me about that. Yeah, uh, fuck, it was. Fuck you. Your kids did good. You. <laughs> yeah, they did good. They did great, man. My uh, it was me and uh, the two younger ones. I've got uh, a sixteen, twelve, and ten year old. So it was the twelve and ten year old that ran. Um, it started with me and my son, the ten year old. He's the youngest. We ran a 5K in the spring, and then my cousin who who did this uh, this one, they have a 10 mile alongside this 10K. He does the 10 mile every year. He invited. He's like, "Hey, you and Ashton should do the this with me. You guys could do the 10K." That's and then cool. we'll yeah, we'll hang out after. So we did it. Uh, we signed up, and then me and him we trained, man. For we trained, we ran at least once a week, usually twice a week, leading up to it. Um, and my daughter signed up with us at the last minute. She did track, and she didn't one run one training run with us at all. <laughs> Every time it'd be like, "Hey, Scarlett, you gonna come run with us?" No, I'll do it tomorrow. Like, uh, yeah, all right. I know how tomorrow what, what, goes. What yeah. did she do on game day though? Dude, so game day, man. <laughs> she she started running. <clears throat> she was winded two miles in. She oh, probably no. she started walking maybe right before three. And I told her, I'm like, Scarlett, we're not walking. Me and Ashton, we're going for 10 minute miles. Yeah. I'm like you start walking, we'll meet you at the finish line. And she's like, <clears throat> okay, that's fine. So we, we kept running. And then like 10 seconds later, she's right up with us. And I'm like, Hey <laughs> honey, you're going to kill yourself, man. You can't do that. You can't do that. And I'm like, how we're, we're getting, you know, we're right around three miles or whatever. I'm like, we'll, we'll slow down for you. Until we hit the turnaround, we'll uh, once we hit the turnaround, we'll pick up the pace, but we'll slow down for a little bit, try to try to let you uh, uh, catch your breath and stuff. So we did that. Once we hit the turnaround, we picked up the pace, um, and she was she was not having it. She was not in a in a good place. <laughs> she started. Uh, she's like, Dad, my knees hurt, and I'm like, Your knees hurt? What hurts? Inside, outside, middle? No, my legs hurt. My feet hurt. And I'm like, Scarlett, your feet are little bitches. Come on. You'll be fine. <laughs> you fucking hitting your kid with the goggins? Yeah. My son's up ahead. I'm already slowing down to be with her. I'm like, come on. You, you'll be fine. And this is, she's like at mile four now. I'm like, you got like, it's like 20 more minutes, honey. We're, we're there. 20 more minutes of this and you'll be fine. You've already, like, we're already more than halfway through. And then, like, I look over, I look next to me. And she's like, I could see like tears. And I'm like, all right, let's stop. Let's stop. We'll walk. Let's let's get off the path here. We'll just we'll start walking. And then she starts crying. She's like, Dad, I'm sorry. And I'm like, what? She's like, I'm. I, you didn't want to walk. I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. You're fine. You're fine. We walked for like a couple minutes. It wasn't long. Uh, walked to the water station. The like the next one. It was right up ahead. Got the water all right, let's, let's start up again. And we started up again and then she was fine. No more tears, no more complaints of being tired or anything. We get to the, it was at soldier field. It was where the bears play the Chicago bears. Um, it started and stopped in the, in the field. So you run through like the tunnel that the players come out of. Right. And we hit the tunnel and this fucking kid, man, she starts like sprinting. She's like, come on, I'm going to beat you. Like, what the <laughs> f- motherfucker. No. <laughs> so like whatever she beat me she like she took off and and yeah she sprinted she's like dad what's wrong i'm like man, i'm gonna pull my hamstrings i fucking start sprinting now but uh but it was cool like my my son he was standing there waiting for us so what um he's 10 he ended up finishing in ninth place for 14 and under like that was the lowest category they had was 14 and under he was ninth out of something there wasn't that many maybe like 18 kids um 14 and under so he finished ninth with 10 10 minute 20 second miles he didn't stop running he ran the entire thing no walking at all um 
my daughter, she finished second in 14 and under women um, with like just under 11 minute miles. And then that's where I finished was like 30 seconds behind, whatever, 10 seconds, whatever it was, with just short of 11 minute miles. My goal coming into it was mine and Ashton's, my son, <clears throat> our goals were to run the whole thing, no walking and yeah. 10 minute miles. And I'm pretty sure, like, I'm positive I we could have done it because I was, I felt great. I, yeah, 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 I felt great. Um, and then I know, like, according to my phone, like, our second mile, I think we ran, like, a 920 or something. I heard the girl talk, and I'm like, oh, what? Is that my phone? Like, what the? F-? I never heard her Dang. say we were going that fast before. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we, if we I felt good. Be- good pace man good yeah job. yeah thanks yeah it was it was cool we had we had fun so now um now we're looking at what's next and i don't know for me i thought the a couple days afterwards i thought like well maybe we could do uh the kids we sign up the kids every year for a kids triathlon there's like a big chicago triathlon series or whatever um yeah. and the kids always do it and I thought, well, for, uh, maybe I'll do it with them. I'll I'll sign up for the for the adult one. And I looked it yeah. up, and I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm signing up for that thing. It's like two hundred dollars, I think, for the entry, or maybe it was a little bit more. It was a fortune. I'm like, fuck that. I don't I don't need a t-shirt and a stupid partic- participation medal that bad. A um, full triathlon? Is it like? Was it like the full triathlon or like a half? Like I know the so, full is like, it's like what? It's like uh two mile swim and then a hundred yeah. mile bike ride and a that, full marathon that's that's the iron man so that's yeah. the iron man and then this is this is separate from the iron man okay um yeah i don't know i don't know i don't i don't understand it um but uh but i think that the longest one was i forget what the swim was but I think the bike ride was like 20 miles and then the run was like a 5k or something. So I thought like I could definitely do that. But then I looked at the price and I'm like, "Ah, I don't need to do that. But I thought, (laughs) so I looked up my, for like my son, I looked up what the, uh, what the last year's winners were for the, for the kids, for the boys. And it was like, they did it in 15 minutes. And I forget, it was only like, it was like half, it was 0. 0.6 mile run. And like, I forget what it was, like a two mile bike ride. And the, the swim is a joke to begin with. But I told him, I'm like, man, I think you could do this. I'm like, we'll have to train. We got a, we got a, we got the a pool. So I thought like, I told him, man, we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll stage the transitions in the, in the front yard, man. We'll, uh, we'll go, go all out. But uh, he he was up for it, so we'll see how that goes. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Listen, man, I I'm like I'm kind of interested in the triathlon, man. Like I'm I'm not a super strong swimmer. I could swim. Yeah. But like I'm not a technical swimmer. I'm not like fucking speed swimmer. I can get around though. But I'm not like a, I'm not I'm not a good swimmer at all. Kimberly seems to like have it in her head because when we were on the beach on our honeymoon, I swim pretty good. But like, I don't know. I'm not. Maybe I'm just a chicken shit. I don't know. But I, I think that's everybody's weakest uh, part in those. Like the the swimming, I think is the the least um, thing to be concerned with. Yeah. Well, hmm. I I just uh, I think. Ever since I watched Nick Bear training for his first, like, Ironman, like, I've been, like, really interested in some sort of triathlon. Or maybe even the, you know, they have just dual, like, dual athlons or whatever. Biathlon, whatever yeah. they call them. Du- duathlon. Where it's just, I've... like, yeah, like, so it's like a run and bike, right? Yeah, I've done or those a run, before. Or run or something like that. Yeah. What are those like? Cause I, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to do like a run, run and bike. If I remember right, I think the the one man it was probably fifteen years ago or sixteen years ago when I did those. Um, 
but I want to say it was like it was run, bike, run. Yeah. So it was run a couple miles, bike, and then run. It was fun. It was cool. Um, it was uh, it was those were like smaller events, so it was cheaper. Like this thing is a big like they 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 don't like shut down the city, but they shut down big major streets in the city. It's like a whole weekend long thing. It's like running like like the Chicago Marathon or something. So it's is not it, like it's a... Is it actually a, like a, an Ironman uh, event? It's No, it's not tied in. No, because that's like a... That's it's like, like a, a brand, right? Yeah, that's a brand. This is this is a brand too, but it's like a, a different okay. thing. I don't know. It's... um, Yeah, it's different. I'll, uh, I'll send you a link though for it because it's... It is... It sounds... I mean, uh, I don't... If I had more money... I'd probably, I'd maybe give it a try, but, uh, especially like with the kids, I think they'd get a kick out of that. That was, uh, yeah, it's for me uh, doing that stuff. It's, it's more so like to, to help be involved with them and help push them a little bit more, you know, it's, yeah. uh, I find it a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, I'm too selfish and my kids are far too lazy for that to be me I'm, my I'm kids been uh, my kids been coming to the gym with me i haven't been training like with them but like teaching them stuff and kind of just let them get acclimated to being in the gym you know like he's respectful of the equipment you know he's you know he's a good kid he has his headphones sometimes he goes and walks on the track upstairs sometimes he's on the treadmill sometimes he's trying out machines tests his bench press a little bit you know He's getting getting the hang of it, and that's something for me that I'm trying to figure out is how to have fun in the gym again. Because it's like become like where it's like almost like a chore as opposed to fun. That's why I was like, I should get back in this Olympic which and that shit was fun. It's exciting. I'm not good at it, so it's like let's give it a try. It's so not supposed to be fun, Jesse. It's supposed to be fucking work, bro. Well, I want to have fun. I want to. I want to play. I want to enjoy myself. No. Uh, Kurt. Uh, there was, oh shit! There was something I was gonna say to Kurt specifically. Um, Probably gonna hit on him. Yeah. Kurt, what are you doing later? No. Uh, sleeping. Uh, so, <laughs> what was I there. gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say this. Um, Kurt, I think you should watch. The uh, Conor McGregor documentary that's on Netflix. Oh, yeah? It's yeah. fun. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, especially if you don't know much about him. Like, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. But it's a four-part series. It's called McGregor Forever. They also have another one that's like a short film on there called Notorious, I think. I think yeah. that's on Netflix. Yeah, that was the first one they did with him. Not as good, not as involved, but like, this is cool because I know Kurt. I know you like like stories where people like uh, get beat down and then like have to like work their way back or like overcome yeah. some odds or whatever. And it just he's like the king of the sport, right? I mean, everybody knows Conor McGregor. You don't even have to be like into the sport, and you know who he is. And that's kind of the Thanks. whole point of yeah. the of the this like documentary is saying like this dude fucking basically built the UFC. Like, like made it what it was. Made it go worldwide. Made it, made it, yeah, made it very mainstream. Made people care about it. Like, and all this little scrappy fucking Irish kid, you know, like. Yeah, like and, even and, people that aren't into MMA, they like know who Conor McGregor is. Yeah, they said they. One of the things they said in the documentary is like, you can go anywhere in the world and like mention that name. People know who it is. They might not know much about him specifically. They don't know his record. They don't never seen him fight, but they fucking heard of him. Guarantee it. Yeah. You know, he's a name like the big names in the sports. Like he's a more recognizable name than probably Tyson Fury. He's a more yeah. recognizable name than um I don't know. Fucking any big like what? Lennox Lewis? Like Yeah. He's a there with like the biggest names of, of sports ever. I mean, he boxed Floyd Mayweather. I mean, you know. Yeah. Like. So, but I, I think you'll dig it because it 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 kind of starts and catches up with him in a moment where 
he starts having a lot of issues. Like, you know, he's on top of the world and then he gets injured. Yeah, bad injury. You know, he loses a fight. He comes back. He gets injured. Then he's got to come back again. And then he eventually, you know, gets another fucking big loss. And it's yeah, all kind of like, it, yeah. it's kind of like, does he have, you know, does he have just too much fucking money now? Does he care about fucking what he's doing? Is it like, where's the fighter in him? Because he's, now he's worth whatever, hundreds of millions of fucking dollars. Like, a couple bucks. You know, he fucking sued fucking Pacquiao for like $5 million and won. Yeah, the dude, and I don't know, it's just interesting to me. I love that. Like, Rocky Three is my favorite Rocky film, and, and most people would not agree. But I, it's it's because of the, like, it really, I feel like, delves into that, like, fighter mentality that it's like, um, you got to have the fucking dog in you, right? Or you're not yeah. going to fuck. Like, you got to have something to fight for. You got to have, you got to have something that's driving you. Once you get to a certain point, when you lose, I don't know, lose the eye of the tiger, right? You lose that yeah. eye of the tiger. Well, yeah, and Connor, so- Connor really like this fight that he has. Really, you know, kind of gonna kind of make or break the perception if of, if he's you know done. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he, he'll so- he'll still be a draw, but this fight that he has coming up, it's like he's gonna have to really fucking show up. And yeah, it's like can out. he ever, can he ever be the same Connor again? Yeah, because Michael Chandler is no joke. He's a very dangerous fighter. Um, you know, he's very, he's very beatable. His style does lend a lot of fucking openings for Connor McGregor to crack him open. But you know, he's he's explosive. He's fast. He's dangerous. He's a great wrestler. He's a dirty motherfucker too. So it's like, you know. This is going to be a, a very good fight for Conor McGregor. But anyway, um, I, I just like I like trying to juice up Kurt for like like I yeah. got him into Creed movies, so he had to go see Creed <laughs> three. Like I want to do the same thing for this. Like I want him telling this like you guys you guys get your fucking pay per view on. <laughs> Fuck shit at my uh, house, man. We're watching fucking Conor and Chandler. Yeah, no, yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a wild fight. But yeah, so watch, watch that, Kurt. Check it out they're at least. They're also All trying right, to I'll check it out. They're also trying to get uh Tyson Fury to fight John Jones in the fucking octagon. Dana White's actively pursuing that. That's wild. Yeah, John Jones will fucking murder him in the octagon. But in the boxing ring, Tyson Fury to obviously murder John Jones as well. So I every time you say John Jones, I just think of the Martian Manhunter. Is that the Martian <laughs> Manhunter? Yeah, John Jones. John Jones yeah. is actually also like. I always think great. of Jim Jones. Whenever you say John Jones, I think of Jim Jones. Wasn't he the like uh, the, the suicide it, cult guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jo- it, Jonestown. Yeah, like the Jonestown cult that. Yeah. They drink Kool Aid and shit. Yeah, I'm not drinking the Kool Aid. Is is that where that <laughs> phrase comes from? Yeah, yeah. drinking the Kool Aid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All sure right. Is. I hate to be the guy to do it, but I got to wrap it up, guys. All right. Unless you guys want to keep going. All right, Jesse. Okay, we were we were fucking having a good time, and you just. Well, we can. Well, we can have uh, we have Kurt back. No. No. This is the one only time. You don't have any. There's there's no. There's no fucking encore. This is it, and you're. Gay, gay Pride Month. It goes on for a while. Okay, that's true. We could we could begin and end them on with Kurt. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, guys. Uh, Let's I'm wrap out. it up. Where, where can we follow? Where can we find you, Kurt? Uh, Facebook and Instagram. That's where you can find me. That's what's it. your Instagram handle? Uh, my cousin Big Boy. My cousin Big Boy. Okay. Now you can find Jesse Cole at Cole with a K. Yup. You can find me at Real Brett Scott. I'm on all the social medias under that same name, so just search anywhere. Check yeah, out Marvel follow- Plus. Yeah, that's gonna be getting active here soon when that uh, Secret Invasion comes in. Marvel Plus. It is. 
Yeah, it is. We, should, yes. we should do this this uh, group right here for one of the episodes. We should. That'd be fun. Why not? Why long not? Lost cousin, long Lost Cousin episode. All right, guys. I'm out. All See right. Ya. See Later, you. brothers. Later.